Oss. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. The kata we're going to cover today is Basai Sho. Basai to storm the fortress and Sho. Now there's lots of different interpretations of this. Some smaller Sho, die, bigger. Superior and inferior is another translation with Sho being inferior and Dai being superior. And then some Karate Dojo translate Sho and Dai as older and younger. Okay, so however your Dojo translates the Sho and Dai, well, this kata is Basai Sho. And we'll say to storm the fortress, minor. And uh, Basai Dai, major. And it's normally because my instructor said to me that Basai Dai is much stronger, like bang, much more forceful. And Basai Show is a bit more graceful. But here we go. Yoy! So straight from Masubi Dachi, Sensei will go to Yoy. Toes come together, left hand on top of the right hand. Okay, hand positions. So first one, we'll make just shuto with the hands, with the thumbs just bent at the side of the hand, not folded across the palm. And then left, right hand underneath, left hand on top, and edge of the hand just behind the thumb. Everything in a straight line, very similar to the Basai Dai position with the hands, but both hands are open. And I know some dojo fold their th thumbs across into the Hato ridge hand position. And if you do it that way, that's absolutely fine. So either the thumbs folded and bent across the palm or bent in the Shuto position. Try and make sure that the wrist is straight and they're not bent. Everything's dead straight. Left hand on top of the right hand. Okay, so the first move of Basai Sho. Similar to the first move of Basai Dai in the style of movement. And some dojo do this differently. Some dojo lift their knee. We don't lift the knee. We go straight in. The hands stay as they are and come to the left side of the body. Watch Sensei slowly. One. Heisho. Back of the hand. So the right arm is coming up like a heisho. The left hand is behind the right hand. The palms are covered. So can you do the arms, please, Sensei, from there? Watch Sensei's arms go to the move. One. They're coming back, and then they sweep up. I know I've seen some people going forward with the arms. They come across. Now, if you look at Sensei's position here, the hands are covered. The forearm of the left arm is level with the forehead. So try not to be too low with the arms and looking over the top. This is quite high. So Sensei's looking underneath the forearm. Now, it's, this is straight up. So the right arm is straight up. So try not to be over to the side. Try not to have the wrist bent on the right. If you notice, the wrist is straight. This one is bent slightly where it comes around. One more time, please. So really work on the first move. Get the first move right before you move on with this kata. One. Now, several dojo practice the block or the strike or the block and strike. Lots of applications, which we go into other videos. It lands with the back foot and others land with the front foot. Watch again. We'll land with the back foot. So Sensei's front foot will land. And then as the back foot comes up, the arms finish. So watch one more time. Front foot, back foot. So the arms are coming up with the back foot. And the stance is Kozadachi. So if you notice Sensei's got his knees locked. He's in a strong position. Knees are bent. Everything's strong, but at the same time, he's relaxed. So 
keep come eye, keep focus, but don't tense the body. Don't be in this position with the muscles shaking. We're going to move on now, and all the moves you can't see from this angle will repeat from the side. And obviously, this is one of them. One. So this is a grab. Again, we're going to applications and another video. We're going to show this, the hands from here. So Sensei, if you could just turn around and just show the hand position. The Sensei's got his thumbs open for the grab on both hands. The right arm is curled around the forehead. So it's, this, this arm here is not going forward. The hand is grabbing thumb open and it's coming across the forehead. The bottom arm, the fingers again aren't straight, they're coming in very slightly with the thumb open for a grab. And this is where you can be grabbing someone around the neck, under the leg and flipping them over. There's all sorts of applications or defense against the staff which we'll go into in another video. And we're going to show the next move from here before we move on. One. This is a slow Zanshin move. So this tightness of the muscles, you kime and focus as you slowly come to position. Now, I know some of you guys have your hand up near your ear. That's fine. Sensei's down, level this shoulder. So this is straight across. Imagine the bow in here or grabbing. So the fingers aren't straight forward. They're turned in slightly with the thumb open for the grab. So try not to have the fingers straight like this. It's a cross, so you're grabbing here, so you can grab something. The second move of the kata, two. Coco stash, back stance. Three. Okay, here we go with the first turn. Now this is really quite tricky. It's difficult with balance. One. So there's a double move here. And my instructor used to have this as hooking under someone's leg and throwing them. There's other applications, but it's a double move. The first one, Sensei, could you go to the first strike with the knees bent? Hato, ridge hand. This time the thumb is across the palm. So the thumb is across the palm. As Sensei straightens his leg, does a Gidambarai, two. So when the first strike hits, your knees are bent. And then as you come up, Gidambarai, you drive from the legs. So let's watch this combination one more time. The hard bit about this combination is the turn. So you can see this turn is a difficult turn since it's coming right the way round. Can you come halfway feet together first, Sensei? One. So here, Hato, knees bent, back straight, good Hikate. Sensei's facing to the side. And remember what we said, we drive off the legs as we do the Gidambarai. So Sensei's going to push. One. Now watch Sensei do this one count lightly, this move. One. It's nice and smooth. One, two, three. So once again, we're grabbing in Coco Stash back stance. And when we do this speed, this is a fast movement. And then Sensei comes slowly. Two. So he's pulling down and lifting. The front arm lifts, back arm pulls down. Imagine you're defending against a staff, you've caught the staff and you've basically pulled down and lifted or you're grabbing someone but we'll go into that in another video. Watch Sensei now pull the front leg back. One. The right arm came across Jodan and then down on top of the Hikate, palm up. Now Sensei's got his thumb across his palm, his knees are bent, left hikate, ready for the strike and kick. And the strike is Hato, ridge hand, then Yokogeri Kiyagi, then he's going to come down slowly into Tatsushuto. One, two, three. Okay, we're going to do this. Next combination, we'll do it two counts. So the first count, Sensei, I'll pull back and prepare. One. So remember what we said about the knees bent. Thumb across, making the ridge hand, Hato position. Then from here, Sensei, ridge hand, Hato, 
Yoko Giri Kiyagi side snap kick. Left hand will come under the right arm, palm up, and then come forward, Tatsushuto and Kibadat. One. When you do this next double punch, make sure you use your hips and legs. Don't just use the upper body to do two punches. Think about the hips. Use the hips. One, two. From here, Sensei is going to transfer the body weight from the center to the right leg. One. Manjigamai. Then he's going to transfer from the right leg to the left. Two. And back to the Kibidat Sensei, Tatashuto. So watch Sensei do this combination lightly with a two double punch and then the two Manjigamais. Hajime. So you've got to transfer the body weight. From here, Sensei's left arm is going to stretch forward he's going to do a step into shuto and i know some dojo practice a double step here they they step a short step up with the left leg and then right leg we're going to go straight in with the right leg one preparation is everything don't forget about the left arm don't leave the left arm here and then try and do shuto that left arm should stretch the way you're going and we're just going to continue now very similar to basai dai one Two, three. So the timing is very similar on the shootos. We don't need to go into detail on that because obviously you guys have gone way past Basai Dai. Just watch Sensei now do this whole combination up to the first Kiai, double Uchiyuki, and the double strike. One. Thank you, Sensei, and back to Shuto. Okay, so lots of similarities with Basai Dai here. And this is the first one. One. Some dojo, I know you put your fingers across the back of the hand. Sensei's the same here as Basai Dai. So he's grabbing with the front hand. You can see Sensei's fingers bent here, thumb bent, grabbing. And the back hand is also open with the thumb touching the forearm and middle finger, the base of the thumb. So it's very similar to Basai Dai. Sensei's in the showman square position in Zenkustash front stance. Can you just lift the knee, Sensei? One. So from here, Sensei's got the knee high. He hasn't moved the arms. So he's getting ready for the stamping kick, Fumikomi. He's going to pull the arms back and then do a double block. One. Fist come back to the body, and then double uchiyuki. Then from here, Sensei is going to push off the back leg, drive forward with double urizuki. One. Okay, snap back. They both snap back. So let's show this combination now. The first kiai, double uchiyuki, double urizuki. And when you do the double urizuki, watch Sensei. He drives off the back leg, and there's a snap. It's a small movement. But there's a vigorous snap with the arms. Let's watch Sensei do it lightly. One count. One. Yeah. Can we just do it to count now? With Sensei doing the grab first. One. Sensei's body weight was back over his right leg. It's now forward over his front leg in front stance. You've got to have a good weight transfer from back leg to front leg. Showman square position. Fingers are tight and bent, grabbing. And you can't see from here, but Sensei's middle finger is right at the base of the thumb. His left thumb is touching the forearm. Same position for Basai Dai. Sensei will do a high knee lift, Fumikomi. The arms will prepare. When Sensei kicks Fumikomi, the fists come back to the side. And then comes down double uchiyuki. One. From here. This is the bit, it's like a shocking technique. Bang. It's a shock. Bang. So it's a very sudden movement. One. Both arms snap, drive off the back leg. Coco stash. Okay, watch Sensei do this next combination lightly. One. Three techniques, or even four techniques. Ashibarai, blocking, or covering, and then either double strike or a block and punch. 
and depending on your dojo, your sensei, and how you do this kata, it can be a double strike or a block and strike. So let's break it down. Ashibarai, low. And I know a lot of people, when, when you watch them do Basai show, they're, they're sweeping too high. So their Ashibarai leg, their foot, is above the knee. It's way too high. It's got to be low, down near the heel. So you scoop in. So what sensei scoop? One. So sensei's foot is low. He's scooped. Left arm hikate, right arm is blocked across. Then as he lifts, finishes the sweep, his right arm will come on top of the left hikate, one. And then double strike, two. And since he drives off the left leg as he comes in with a double strike. So we'll show you this combination now from the side. Watch sensei lightly, one. Ashibarai, sotuki, double strike. And some of you go lower with a gadambarai and then a punch, that's fine. Whichever one. So let's break it down. So the first count, so it's going to ashibarai and stop. One. So of course this, this movement carries on. Sensei won't stop here. The next movement, it goes through with the sweep. The block comes down to, on top of the left hikate. Then he drives off the left leg, double punch. One. You've got to drive off the leg after the sweep. Don't just fall forward. Don't just use your body weight and a momentum to fall forward. Coming to the second kiai now. So the next two moves, we've got a bottom fist, tetsui, and then an oizuki. Just watch sensei lightly. One, two. So if you notice, the bottom fist is as sensei's moving. So it's a continuous movement. One more time, please, Sensei. I know some of you guys actually just turn and you're in Kibidato and you do the strike and then you step and punch. That's fine. However you do it. What we do here is watch Sensei. Does it all one count? One. And it's continuous. Sensei's right foot is halfway as he's striking with the left bottom fist, then lands with the second Kiai, Oizuki. So we're at the second Kiai. So the second ki is oizuki chew down to the body. Make sure you're in good technique, good stance. This is very basic in your senior grades now. So always, always, when you're going through the kata, check your basic technique. Make sure you're square, shomen. Make sure you've got a good hikite, punch into the center. Make sure your wrists aren't, you know, bent up and to the side and down. Make sure you, everything's correct. Okay, we're now going to perform three. Ashibarai, Sotuki, double strike. Watch Sensei do all three lightly. Hajime. Now, they're very smooth techniques, and these are really difficult to do properly. Make sure the Sotuki arm, after the block, comes on top of the left Hikate when you strike, and then the left Sotuki comes on top of the right Hikate before you strike. Make sure the ashibarai is low to the ground. We'll show you this one time from the side. Do you want to do it? So here, Sensei's at the second kiai point. He's now going to perform those three combinations so you can see clearly. He'll do them nice and lightly for you. Remember the basic fundamentals of keeping that ashibarai low. Keep the foot low to the ground. Hajime. Okay, we're at the last two moves of Basai Show. Lots of variations from dojo to dojo on this. We just want to see really good technique. So the way Sensei practices this now, we'll go through halfway, Sensei, one. Right palm comes across and covers. Sensei's using the hips, so he's starting to pull the left foot back. Then as Sensei comes around with the left arm and grabs, one. The hips rotate and the left leg naturally comes back. Now, applications for this are grabbing and taking down and sweeping with the left leg, which we'll go into in another video. One more time, please, Sensei. Notice the first thing Sensei does is covers with the right hand. So he's coming across. One. It's a slow, smooth movement. I know some of you go long with the left leg, and that's fine. 
On this next move, Sensei does a bigger arc with the leg, bigger takedown. These moves are takedown with the legs on these combinations, but there's lots of applications. The first thing Sensei is going to do here again is cover with the hand. One. Two. Now, if you notice the hands, again, thumb is bent, fingers are bent, grabbing. So it's not straight, nothing straight, not in the shooto position, it's grabbing. And the same with the bottom hand. So, neko ashidashi, cat stance. So back leg heavily bent, front foot. I know some of you go onto the toes, sense it's on the ball of the foot, keep it light. And let's watch Sensei do that whole combination, the last two moves of the kata. Uh, after the first one, Sensei palms across and does a short, a small step with the left foot also. So take note of Sensei's technique, Hajime. Yame. Inore, relax. Os. Os. 